Welcome to the voice of the Lord. Our verse for today is in Psalms 139, verse 17 and 18. How precious to me are your thoughts, O God! How vast is the sum of them! Were I to count them, they would outnumber the grains of the sand. When I awake, I am still with you. How precious are the thoughts of God! Our God is very thoughtful, friends. He is very much aware of what is going on in our lives. He knows our trials, our troubles. He knows our needs. And He is quick to help when we need one. Friends, this is who God is to us. How precious, friends, of the thoughts of God. Knowing that He will come at the right time. When we call, He answers us, friends. And he will not leave us. He will not forsake us. It's beyond us to understand all, friends. Beyond understanding. And that's why even the Apostle Paul was saying that no eye has seen, no ear has heard, no mind had conceived what God has in store for us. Wow. So great, friends. Every day, Something good, something beautiful is happening. Because this is part of God's plan for us. When we are in trouble, He will be there to help us. Because again, that's part of His plan for us. Therefore, friends, we are told that if we have to count them, you know, the plans of God and even the blessings of God, if we have to count them, this will outnumber the grains of the sun. Hallelujah. Can you count the blessing of God? You have started counting and before you finish, friends, more blessings are coming. That's how the Lord will bless us. It's beyond us, friends, to, to number the blessings that we receive from the Lord moment by moment. Even at this time, friends, at this moment, the Lord is releasing a special blessing unto you. And what could that be? A special wisdom to understand His ways. To understand the message that I am giving you today, uh, to you today. A special wisdom to understand it. A blessing from God. Amen. And if you are relieved of your burden as you listen, another blessing. So how can we possibly count the blessing of God? It's beyond us. Amen. And that's the reason we just have to thank God. Be grateful for everything that we receive from him. Well, in fact, the psalmist was saying that when I awake, he is still with me. <laughs> Amen. You sleep for the night, you wake again the following day, God is still with you. He will still sustain you with his loving care. That's how good the Lord is. And therefore, friends, how can we repay God for everything that he has been giving us the blessing that he's been pouring on us, how could we possibly repay him? With our wealth? No way. Friends, this wealth came from him. What else? The works that we do? Well, friends, all these things, the Lord will be pleased, but there is none that could please the Lord more than to offer our own lives. Amen? To offer our bodies as a living sacrifice. That's what the Apostle Paul was saying, friends. Because this is our reasonable act of worship. So let us worship the Lord with our body. Amen. Because if we are able to worship with our body, everything else will flow, friends. Everything else will follow. And therefore, let's offer ourselves as a pleasing sacrifice today. Are you blessed that you woke up this morning? Then, friends, offer your time to the Lord today. Amen. Meet with the Lord today. Be grateful for what He has in store for you today. Amen. Therefore, friends, let's worship the Lord from the deepest part of our being. Truly appreciating everything that He's doing in our lives. And friends, God will continue to bless us as we continue to trust in Him. He will continue to show us His power as we look unto him as the source of our deliverance, the source of our healing, 
the source of everything that we need in life, friends. Because God is our provider. May the Lord bless you. May the Lord keep you. May His face shine upon you and be gracious unto you. And lift up His countenance on you and give you His shalom. God bless. See you again next time. Bye.